Kogi State Government has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Administrators of Nigeria Media Merit Award, NMMA, to host the 29th edition of the event in Lokoja, Kogi State, with the theme, Engaging with Kogi State for a Better Tomorrow. The Secretary to the Kogi State Government, who signed on behalf of the Governor, Dr. Ayo Adefola Shade, promised the NMMA of the state preparedness to deliver the most colorful event. I present to you the Chief Administrator, Che Viemi Akeju, the Memorandum of Understanding between the Nigeria Media Merit Award and Kogi State Government for the hosting of the 2021 Merit the Grand Merit Award. The Secretary to the State Government and the Supervisor of the NMMA Steering Committee, Dr. Ayo Adefola Shade, used the event to speak on some core values of unity, peace and religious tolerance, which she noted has made the state a destination for all. Ayo Ade commended the team for choosing Kogi State as the host. She assured them of continued adequate security of life and properties before, during, and after the event. The whole world will begin to see that NMMA is engaging Kogi State now in preparation for a better tomorrow, for a better Nigeria, through a young man, the essential GYB. In the 28 years of the creation of Kogi State, sir, Alaji Yaya Belu, a Muslim, built a chapel inside the government house. A government house chapel for Christians to worship. We had governors that had been Christians. We had administrators. They did not in any way. Government house was built with a mosque, but he came in and then said, why would there not be a chapel? He built it in six months. He believes so much in women and youth engagement and empowerment. I need to let you know that there is no governor in Nigeria, if not in Africa, that has the woman empowerment skill as my governor. Is this security you want to talk about? In Nigeria today, Kogi State is the safest. Meanwhile, we are bonded by 10 states, including FCT. The NMMA team leader, Yemi Akeju, said the excellent security situation of the conflict state, its serenity, tourism potentials, as well as the presence of the Ajakuta Steel Company, the Dangote Cement Factory, amongst others, are the common futures that Kogi State will be showcasing to attract investors who will attend the event. Leveraging on over a million of participants and business owners that will be in Kogi State to witness the event, Akeju said the current economic potentials of the state will be better off during and after the program. Because one of the things, we know that the media power is very uh, effective in any country of the world. Huh? And so if you believe Kogi has potentials and Kogi is strategic in the development of our age country, in, fact, in view of the fact that we have two major factories, major industrial plants in Kogi State, there's need to sell it bring Kogi closer to Nigeria and closer to the world so that the opportunities in this country and in this state can be projected further across the world. The strategist on investment policy and communication to Kogi State Governor and the coordinator NMMA steering committee, Dr. Ronke Bello, told journalists at the event that the program will generate the attraction of millions of both national and international participants increase the state and individual's business owners, project media entrepreneurs from across the globe. Kogi is very excited, in fact, super, super excited to be hosting for the very first time in the existence of this state, the 29th um, edition of uh, the NMMA. For us in Kogi and for them, like uh, our able statesman expressed, it's not just a media event. Wherever the media go in life, the world follows. So now we are bringing the entire national and international media to Kogi State, to Lokoja as the host state, and of course His Excellency Yaya Adoza Belo as uh, the chief host of this year's uh, uh, media event. The media comes, particularly at this point, with a lot of business uh, opportunities. 
She noted that the Nigerian Media Merit Award to be hosted in Kogi State by October would open a new lookout of business, economic, social and political opportunities in the state with greater multiplier effect on citizens of the state. With the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding, planning for the all-important event has been fully activated as the committee took time to visit some of the facilities that will be put to use during the event. The event will hold from 28th to the 31st of October and will have all the media houses in Nigeria and Africa contesting for some prestigious awards. Khadijat Muhammad, reporting for MLC TV.